So you're thinking of moving to Frisco, Texas. Well, in today's video, we're talking all about living here in the fields. And if you know anything about Frisco, you know how desirable this area is. And more importantly, why everybody is just looking to call Frisco their home. There is so much going on here in the Frisco area and the fields is the latest new development that is coming here in this huge master plan community in the northwest part of the Frisco area. Now, let's talk a little bit about the city of Frisco. It does have a population right now of over 215,000 people with 69 square miles. But up here in the fields, it is going to be over 2,500 acres and it's going to have 55 acres in what they're going to call the heart of the community. Now, if you compare that with Legacy West, which is the same developer, the same kind of idea, there are only 240 acres down there and 34 acres in the heart of Legacy West, which is basically where their businesses are, the shopping, the dining, and we're gonna have 55 acres up here in the fields and over 2,500 acres combined. It is going to have over 14,000 homes at complete build out here in the fields. It is going to have 18 million square feet of commercial space and it's going to have two golf courses because it does is going to border the PGA headquarters on the north end side of the fields here. And it's going to be just kind of known as a golf cart community. So if your kids are asking for a golf cart for Christmas, this could be the best place to come to buy them their new home here in the state of Texas and more importantly in the city of Frisco. Now, the fields is really kind of meant to be this great big master plan community where you're going to have everything that you need. It, they just really want people to kind of reimagine what it's like to work somewhere, live somewhere, play somewhere, and be able to do everything that they're going to want right here at their fingertips. Now, Brookside is the first phase of development out here in the fields. And as you can see, we're kind of in the, the center section where all the model homes are being built and kind of if you want more space, the lots are not necessarily going to be as large as you can see behind me where these model homes are. Not all of the lots are gonna be quite as big, but you're gonna have these big, beautiful views. It has kind of the rolling acres, the hills out here. And when you get out into one of the phases called the preserve, it's going to overlook the golf course. So they're gonna have phenomenal views out here in the fields. Now, the fields is being built just south of the PGA headquarters, which is just south of Highway 380, just south of the city of Prosper, but more on the northwest side of the city of Frisco. So something to think about when you're thinking of location, it is going to be west of the Dallas North Tollway. So if you do need to commute to, let's say down into Dallas, over onto the other side of Frisco, into Plano, um, you are going to have to kind of head a little ways to get over to the highway. And it is going to be fairly far north in the city of Frisco. So if you have to commute to some other parts of the Metroplex, it might not be the ideal spot for you. But more importantly, as we do talk about where to live and location of things, if you have any questions, that's what we are here for. My name is Kristen Carpentier and I'm a licensed realtor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I love helping people make that move here to the Dallas, Texas area. I have a whole team of people that do love to help people wanting to relocate with questions at all. So let us know if you have any questions at all and how we can help you make that smooth move here to the Dallas, Texas area. But living out here in the fields, it is just, they really want people to just have it be all encompassing, like I said. We are going to have amenities like you wouldn't believe. UNT did just open up their Frisco campus this year, and there just really is a lot going for it here in the Frisco area. Now, Brookside out here in the fields is, like I talked about, is the first phase of development that they've opened up here in this particular master plan community. And it really is going to be known for their classic homes and starting at around oh, just over $800,000. And of course, that is before all of your upgrades and your lot premiums. So multiple people, we have talked about it. You are, your starting price point to actually get into a home is going to be just over a million dollars at your base price and your starting point here in the fields. Now, the lot sizes are going to be everywhere from 33 feet, which is gonna be more of like your townhome size lots, upwards of over 70 foot lots here in this particular development also. So you can see behind me, you're gonna have kind of these rolling hills. You're going to have 
depending on if you're in a cul-de-sac, depending on what street you are going to be on, um, the views that you're going to have and the particular sections that you're going to live in here, how big your lot size can be. But it does give you those options to upgrade if you want a bigger lot to maybe put in your own pool. They're talking about how these bigger lots are going to be backing up to the golf course and the developers of the fields have also taken kind of into account a lot of the design decisions, making kind of sure, really making sure that the outside of the homes look as beautiful as the inside of the homes do. And as you can see here, you know, there might not, with these model homes and these particular homes that have already been started and been built, there really is just a lot more, you don't have as much room as maybe some of these homes in a more established neighborhood that does give you a little bit more space. But the preserved neighborhood, which is another phase that is going to be coming in here to the fields, is pretty much going to be that very high-end, exclusive, gated and guarded community here in the fields. Uh, home prices are gonna start at around $3 million. They're all going to be custom. And this particular section of the fields is gonna have two miles of frontage along the PGA golf course. It is going to be one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in all of the Frisco area. And the people here are going to be buying like they're going to be building their forever home. It really just isn't kind of like those starter homes or somebody just coming in and building, you know, a nice little spec home. It really is going to be people who are wanting to live here in a very high end luxury community in the Frisco area. Now the schools up here in the fields are going to be a part of the Frisco Independent School District. So as a lot of people know how highly rated the Frisco schools are and how desirable it is to get in here, it is going to be servicing Newman Elementary, Trent Middle School, Griffin Middle School, and Panther Creek High School. But of course, as this community gets built out, there will be more schools continuing to be built out here in the Frisco area that will be able to service the Fields community in particular. So we wanna go in and show you around this beautiful Huntington model here in the, in the Fields community. It is one of my favorite models. It is listed at you know roughly around $2.6 million right now. The upgrades in here are absolutely stunning though. So we're gonna give you a little bit of an idea of the quality that you're going to find out here in the fields. And again, if you have any questions at all about the different builders, the different homes that are coming here and the price points, of course, as always, feel free to reach out and give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and let us know how we can help you find that dream home here in the fields. All right, so let's show you around inside the Huntington model in the field.
So I hope you love that tour of the Huntington model here in the fields. It is absolutely decked out. As you could tell, they had so many upgrades, the details, the woodwork, the lighting, and I absolutely love the waterfall edge on that countertop. So again, you can see what super high-end, high quality you're getting by the Huntington builder. And now as we move into the Toll Brothers model to kind of show you the difference, and of course we want to show you Toll Brothers because it is the name of a builder that everybody knows. So many people love Toll Brothers. They know of the quality of Toll Brothers, and it's just going to kind of give you an idea of the comparison of what you're going to get. Even though the Toll Brothers model does have tons of upgrades and it really is an absolutely beautiful model home, it's just gonna kind of show you the comparison between the two. And also as we go from the Toll Brothers model over to one of the homes that is actually available for purchase right now, you'll be able to see the difference between a model home and just kind of like the standard home that you're gonna get when you move in. Not everybody's going to put in quite as many upgrades as these model homes have. So stay tuned while we give you a look at the Toll Brothers.
I was in talking to the Toll Brothers uh, sales rep and just talking about everything coming in here at the fields and the different opportunities. And of course, the Toll Brothers model here is unbelievable. The, wooden, the wood on the ceilings, the beams throughout literally the entire house is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the upgrades are unbelievable. And she was telling me just the beams alone were like over $30,000 in that particular house. So I came out to check a home, uh, actually I had a client who was asking about it. It's a little bit more in their price point. It is Toll Brothers here in the fields. It is just so different to see the difference between um, a totally decked out um, model home and then one that is just kind of basic. And of course, a basic Toll Brothers home is still absolutely beautiful. So this one happens to be $2.2 million and it backs up to what is going on in the fields. So while I was here, I thought I would come back here just to give you a sense of what the fields is, what's going on here at the fields and the construction and what it is that they're building. As you can see behind me, there are like bulldozers and dump trucks galore. I mean, this is any little boy's absolute dream to come out and watch this. But you can see off in the distance um, where the PGA is and all of this is going to be the fields. It is so amazing. It's just kind of amazing to me, I guess, being in real estate and watching a home be built, especially if it's new construction and what is going on. But you can see here where we always say that Texas is flat. There aren't a lot of you know hills or mountains to climb, but you can just see how beautiful that this is going to be when it is all done. And they're really just kind of going to town getting all of this ready so this just gives you a really good sense of what is happening here at the fields the construction just this huge over 2500 acre master plan community and what is happening out here at the fields so the pga headquarters are just right there off in the distance and of course eventually this is all going to be built out you're going to have homes and businesses and you know the shopping and the dining and everything that you could absolutely want right here at your fingertips. To be honest, you really aren't ever gonna have to leave the Frisco area with the amount of things that are coming in over the next couple of years. So just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what's happening in the construction side of things with the fields and just give you a sense of what's going on. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Let us know how we can help. Pictures of the model home for Toll Brothers here, but you can still see how beautiful this is. It's the same floor plan and same as the model home here in the fields for Toll Brothers. It's the Summit Collection, but I love how the dining area is separate. It has this huge kitchen island, uh, cabinets all the way to the ceiling, and even though they might not be super high-end, they're still really pretty. I do love this floor plan, and I will say, in the model home, my absolute favorite are the beams up on the ceiling throughout the entire house. It's absolutely beautiful and in the entryway all of the stonework that they had obviously a very high upgrade and you know granted out here in the fields you're not really going to have a very big backyard you're not going to have a whole lot of space in a lot of these lots but the 14 million dollar amenity center that is being built literally just a few houses down is going to be fantastic it's going to have everything you need and i was actually quite surprised that the hoa fees are I mean, we'll call them reasonable, just over $200 a month per, you know, just over $200 a month. And it's gonna have pickleball courts and a fitness center and pools and playgrounds and literally everything that you can want. But this huge back wall of windows, so depending on what's gonna be coming back here, um, right now it really does have a beautiful view. This home is ready to, um, ready to purchase right now. It has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and it does have an office and then this big open kitchen, dining, family room area, which I really do like. So you can still have your bar stools here. Everybody still can hang out together. And you also have a nice, actually a, quite a good size covered patio right here. Uh, of course, you know, in the model home, it's mostly patio and living, outdoor, indoor dining, living area, which is actually kind of nice. And actually one more thing that I wanted to point out, which you'll see in the model home, this is the exact same thing. I love this glass door. And if you want your drink fridge, you want your you know, 
your wine bars or whatever you want to store in here. It's actually kind of nice. So you have a little wine fridge, you have all these cabinets. Obviously it's set up for people who drink wine. There's plenty of room in here. You could add more shelving in there as well. But just, I like this little feature of it can just be separated off. So an extra butler's pantry, an extra, you know, wine cellar or wine cabinet right here in the wall is actually a nice touch as well. So just kind of wanted to show you, we'll call it the, the sales lady over there told me it's the basic floor plan. And obviously the, um, the model home was very, very highly upgraded and it was beautiful. So just wanted to give you a sense of what's going on out here. Just give you a little bit more information of the differences and what you can expect out here in the fields. And this one happens to be by Toll Brothers. So thank you for joining us on a tour of these two beautiful model homes here in the Fields community. We are in the first phase of development out here and so much is to come here in the next couple of years. So we'll try to, so of course we'll be showcasing different sections, different model homes as the build out continues here in the Frisco area at the Fields because so much is coming and it is gonna be absolutely amazing and everybody's gonna to wanna to see it as it is current, as it is being built out and the process along the way. So if you have any questions at all, if you wanna get in, in the beginning here to the Fields, feel free to reach out, that's what we are here for. Don't go into new construction alone. Make sure you are represented and that somebody's there to help help guide you and answer your questions along the way. So reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Please let us know how we can help you make that smooth move here to Dallas, to the Fields, to Frisco, or anywhere else around the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And until next time, take care.